let's have a look at the basics of IP addressing. So we'll start with CIDR for IPv4, which is classless intradomain routing. What exactly it is, it helps define an IP range, for example, 10.0.0 slash 16, which has 65,536 IPs. So it has two components as you see. So first component, which is 10.0.0.0, this is called the base IP. And the next component, which is slash 16, this is the subnet mask. The combination of these two components defines a CIDR range and inside a CIDR range, there could be multiple IPs. We'll see further how we can calculate the number of IPs and how we can define the subnet mask. So base IP defines an IP address contained in the range. What exactly is an IP address? So every computer host or device in the network is uniquely identified by an IP address. So subnet mask defines how many bits can change in the IP. It can take either of the two forms. So which is 255.255.255.0, which is uh, you probably would have seen that in Windows, which is like less common nowadays and slash 24 slash 16 slash 32, which is more common in terms of uh, the cloud networking, AWS, Azure, GCP, everyone uses the same format. Let's look at the subnet mask. So let's say we have a IP address of slash 32 subnet mask. What does it mean? That means it should have two raised to the power zero IPs, which is equal to one. This is how we calculate the number of IPs in a subnet mask. In the same way, the subnet mask with slash 31 should have two raised to the power one IP, which is two. And the same way we can calculate, you know, you reduce one number from the mask and you add one number to the power notation. So for the slash 30 mask, we'll have two raised to the power two IPs, which is four. So this is like how we can calculate the number of IPs in a subnet mask and so on for each and every mask slash 26 slash 25, you get the idea, right? Slash 24. And then we have slash 16. So remember slash 16 subnet mask. This is the maximum number of IPs we can have in a VPC. We could add CIDR range to the VPC but this is the max one VPC could have. And then we have slash zero, which is like all IPs uh, in the network. Then if you could just remember these few things, then it will be fairly easy for you to remember, which is like uh, when we have slash 32 subnet mask, that means no IP can change. That means that range will have only one IP. When we have slash 24 as the subnet mask, that means the last digit of that particular IP can change. That means it will range from 0 to 255. So that means it will have 256 IPs. The same way slash 16 should have 65,536 IP because last two IPs can change. Same way for slash 8 and slash 0 can have all the IPs. Okay, let's do a quick knowledge check. So let's say we have a IP with 192.168.32.1 slash 32 subnet mask. So based on what we have seen so far, what do you think would be the number of IPs in that subnet mask? Take some time, pause the video for a minute and then look at the answer. You might have guessed it right. So this is 192.168.32.1 and why? Because if you see over here, okay, it says, uh, slash 32 mask can have only two raised to power zero IPs, which is one also in slash 32, no IP can change. That means this is the only IP in the range. Let's see another one. Suppose we have an IP 192.168.10.0 slash 24. Take a pause, look at these two and then calculate the number of IPs. Okay. Because like for slash 24, last IP can change. That means it will start from here and it will go till 255. So that means zero. First IP would be 192.168.10.0 and the last IP would be 192.168.10.25. So that means it will have zero to 255, which is 256 IPs, which we can see over here as well. Slash 24 will have two raised to power eight IPs, which is 256. Let's look at the another one, which is 192.168.0.0 slash 16. So 16 should have 65,000 IP. This is pretty clear from here as well. And if you see over here, so last two IPs can change in slash 16. It will start with 
0, .0 and it will go till 255.255 like this so if you you know calculate the number of ips in that range it will be 65536 okay so i hope this would have made more sense now that we have seen it visually and you would have understand the concept of how to calculate the number of ips in a subnet mask or subnet range I hope this video was somewhat beneficial to you and you have learned something out of it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below. It would make a huge difference for us. If you are new to my channel, I request you to subscribe it by hitting the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon to get notified about all my upcoming videos. If you have a question related to this video, then please uh, let me know at the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon with the next video.